Ryan here with Dark Rangers Inc. and it's official welcome to 2026. It's the new year, a time for reflections, resolutions, and sometimes new beginnings. So in that spirit, I wanted to come up with a fun contest that we can look back on years past and show the improvement that we're gonna make. So we'll go over that in a second. In the meantime, I haven't checked in with you guys on a personal level in a while. What are your resolutions that you're doing, not only in astrophotography, but in life? As you can see, I am in hopefully the last place that I'm gonna be for quite a while now under some really nice Bortle 3 skies. So my astro resolution is to go after a lot more challenging targets this year. I'm gonna be able to go after a lot of those broadband LRGB targets like Dark Nebula and stuff like that. So that's really what I'm gonna be focusing on. I've really been going after a lot of SHO targets and really popular targets, but I've already done one quick image with only 10 hours of data on the Horsehead Nebula when I moved in a couple weeks ago and I'm excited for the next new moon here in January. And in life, I started a few months ago, but I'm down about 23 pounds, so we're getting a little bit more svelte again. Um, I've always been into lifting weights, but I needed to lose a little bit of weight of my own, and so that's what I've been working on. So let me know what are your real world and your astrophotography resolutions for 2026. Back to the contest. So in the spirit of reflecting and moving forward, we're gonna do an Orion challenge. Orion is one of the easiest targets to image, but one of the most difficult to master. And the reason I say that is because the core is so bright, even with a few second long exposure, even sometimes with a smartphone, you can get a glimpse of Orion similar to with Andromeda. But the hard thing to do is to make it so the core is nice and balanced with the rest of the nebula. There's a little star cluster called the trapezium, and we want to be able to see that and not have that be blown out, but also get some of that faint dust nebula that surrounds the target. So what I want to do is see the best improvement kind of a before and after. Maybe your first year was last year, maybe it was five years ago or 20 years ago. Let's see the progress you've made and I wanna hear the journey along the way. Now there's gonna be a couple of prizes for the winner. You're gonna get a brand new Sesto Senso 3 of your choice. So thanks to Filippo and Prima Luce for that. It comes in this SCT style or the one that I have on my refractor. And then there's a third style that's coming out for a barrel style focuser. So like a traditional camera lens or some of the older red cat style scopes for example that's going to be for the person who wins the overall biggest improvement before and after and as i did in the first contest that i did a couple of years ago we'll have kind of a consolation prize for the beginner the person who maybe needs the most improvement you're going to get a free two hour one-on-one -on -one session and that's for the person who maybe put in a good amount of effort so this is kind of an effort award maybe you, your result wasn't the best but hey you went to a dark sky site or it's your first ever image and you tried your absolute best to finally get something together stack it and process it let's hear what you went through to get through it and the person who put forth the most effort but maybe didn't achieve a prize winning level will get a free two hour one-on-one -on -one session with me we can go over pics and site photoshop uh, serial app whatever you use and we are going to step up your processing game for the new year so we have a couple prizes up for stakes and there's not going to be thousands of entries so you do have a good chance of winning i did have great participation in my first one and one that was fun is that we we will pick like five to 10 images to showcase. So at least you can show your family and friends, hey, I made it into one of the top 10 images or so amongst a pretty large astrophotography community. So it should be a lot of fun. And the way that you're gonna enter is send me the before and after photo to ryan at darkrangersinc.com. You can send me the astro bin link if you'd like, or you can send me just kind of like a decent quality. You can only do about 25 megabytes in Gmail. So you can send me a JPEG and like the five to 10 megabyte range for the before and after, and then just Tell me the story. What improved? Was it your equipment? Was it your processing skills? Uh, more integration time, dark skies? What was it? What was it a combination of all of the above? How did you go from the before to the after? And the person with the biggest transformation will win the new piece of equipment. So maybe you can improve your existing rig or you can start to put together a second. As you see, I've 
a couple behind me and I always like having two because that way you have more to process and more to practice. So this should be a lot of fun. If you've already done your Orion, you can go ahead and start submitting today. Again, we'll have all the way until January 31st, so about 30 day time span to do it. And then I will announce the winner in February. It does take a while to look at all of them. I will look and read at every single submission and I'll go ahead and put together a video. It does take a while to kind of get them all called together and put into a video format with my analysis. So guys, I'm really looking forward to it. The whole reason I did this channel is to help people do better astrophotography through education and community. That is the motto of the channel. And watching you guys improve is by far the best part of having that channel. So please submit it. Uh, don't be shy if you maybe know that you're not going to win, but you still want to show me what you're doing. I really encourage you no matter what I want to see your Orion images. And if it's your first year, give me your best shot. And like most of you, you've done this target before. So let's see that progression. I want to hear the story and I want to celebrate you guys and the work that you're doing here in 2026. So guys, really excited for this. And until the next one, as always, clear skies.